You can punch me, kick me, pull my hair. I am A-OK being stabbed. Biting and scratching are on the table. You can use fire. These are the ground rules? Is there anything off limits? Damn, man. You got something really sick you want to do, huh? What's so funny? You. What about me? Uh, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> you think you funny? You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? I, like, I get it, you know what I'm saying? You know? So, SZA, why is it so hard to accept that the party is over? Girl, you got school in the morning. Get your ass in the car. I have to look at a couple and just know they have the best sex in the nation. Like, I just know. Yeah, it's them. If you know, you know. I just want to be there. Witness. This is how my college seg sessions went. Sex session after math. I'll be going crazy. Girls don't need to be fucking. My boyfriend went like this one night. While we were having sex. Did it turn you on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Type in yoga on this app. After this video, go search yoga. On so you mean to tell me that these ladies can sit up here and show straight puss. But I talk about adult toys and I get community guidelines every fucking day. Go look at this shit. Fuck you in the bathroom. I wanna fuck you on the roof of my car. The other night I cried while thinking of having sex with you. In this life, you know you gotta live it up. So everybody put your hands in the air. It's an all night party that we're getting into. You think it's all love, but then the joke is on you. So I jokingly added these to my husband's candy jar. Later that night, I quickly found out they actually work. I almost died from having sex. I'm not kidding. I was in the hospital for five days from this. This is the craziest thing that has ever happened to me. Where have I ever? Freaks edition. Let's see how much of a freak you are. Put a finger down if you've ever had a hickey. Put a finger down if you've ever done it with somebody on the first day. Put a finger down if you've ever done it in a public place. Put a finger down if you've ever gotten caught doing it. Put a finger down if you like licking their necks. Put a finger down if you've ever used your tongue while making out. Put a finger down if you've ever bitten somebody's lip while making out. Put a finger down if you're a screamer. Put a finger down if you like getting your hair pulled. Put a finger down if you like it rough. All right, so boom, listen. Listen to all my fellas, I'm going to let you know when a girl is in your bed or you could possibly be in her bed and if she starts doing any of these tricks that is her trying to shoot her shot so y'all can start doing the freaky deaky so to my guys I'm gonna need you to listen up but to my ladies I got you come on now. so we come in and we're number one and this one is their all time favorite move to do so you need to listen up if you guys are cuddling and she turns around and she makes you spoon her then she starts moving backwards if you know what I mean she is respectfully telling you that she is ready and it's all up to you to finish the job and now we're sliding with number two if she is rubbing your belly while y'all are cuddling, and you can feel her pinky moving away from her other fingers, like her finger is on your belly, but her pinky starts going a little low. She is trying to sneakily enter your, hmm, you know what, so all you gotta do is lift that haha up and let her do what she gotta do. <laughs> and number three, if she asks you to take a 30 minute nap with her, she know what she's doing. She knows what she wants in those 30 minutes, <laughs> life for part two. She wants to suck dick! Your baby mom wants to suck it! To <laughs> your baby mums! Your woman, your girl, your, not, just, not just the girl down the road, your baby mother wants to suck dick. Madness. And she wants to be a whore tonight. She's ready. She's ready. Yeah, nah, it's mine. So what are you going to tell her? Nah, babe. Nah. Nah, I, don't want, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that to me because I look at you different. Nah, Fuck off. Nah, you're done. Fuck off. You're done. Because done. 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 you know what she's going to do? Suck another dick? Yes. Because she wants to suck dick. That's 100%. what she wants to do. 100%. She wants to suck dick, bro. Yeah, no, she likes no, no. it. Yeah. 
bro. So who are we to say, ah, oh, she shouldn't because she's my girl? We're nobody, bro. We're nobody. We're, we have to get that out of our head yeah, right man. away. Because if it wasn't you, it was it's definitely before you. Mm. And if it's not you, it's going to be someone because she's, she, she's dying to do it and you're telling her not to. You're telling her you don't want her to forever. More. She's going to do it. You're my main girl. You're my baby mother. I can't have my baby mother doing that to me. What is your partner's strangest request while having intercourse? Take a cold shower, get out, immediately lie face down, make no noise, do not move. Took me way too long to realize he was a closet necrophiliac. Asked me to role play as a Nazi and demanded I insult her with ever increasingly anti-Jewish slurs then at one point suddenly said I'd gone too far and left and broke up with me. It might have been when you farted on her face and said welcome to the showers that cross the line. She said fuck me like a little girl. And I kept asking, what does that mean? I mean how am I supposed to know? I was once requested to hold a knife up to my partner's throat. I offered to buy a prop knife rather than the real one she was showing me. Once had a partner asked me to hold a gun to her head. Yes she wanted it loaded. She wanted to think slash feel like she was in danger. I said no. Down, you know I'm on the way, yeah. Double B's, glasses see through, double C's. Cartier frames, look at me, yeah, yeah. Making my shots like I lead. I'm on my way up, I feel blessed. Triple sec, running stars all on my head. Way up to the ceiling fan, cash stacks, free pants. I can never see the end. Love me, baby, don't pretend. I know oh, yeah, that you just me on my toes. This night, won't you stay? Wait a second, I don't really play. Bust it down, you know I'm on the way. Yeah. Double B's, glasses see through, double C's. Cartier frames, look at me. Yeah, yeah. Making my shots like I lead. I'm on my way up, I feel blessed. Triple sec, running stars all on my head Way up to the ceiling fan, cash decks, free pants I can never see the end. If any girl out there is interested in Wu-Tak and want to add a oh. act as a supplement He's always wanting to get sounded no. oh. He talks about that all the time What so. sounded? Kazumi talked not. about it That guy who like I would put my pinky in Ooh. his pee pee hole oh. No I don't Please. like that I don't even like the word anymore Esther, sounding is like when they take something and stick it up your oh. uh, broads oh, I've for seen it. that oh. I've seen it all the time they, they do like a little What do you mean you've seen that all the Wait, time? Wait, what do you mean you've seen it? What? Well, I was watching <laughs> like not too long ago There was a teacher lady and she was putting like a, like a metal stick up and down the thing What type of are you watching? I mean, I was just exper all, all experimenting to see crazy. if it was going to turn me on. I'm sorry. Oh, did that turn you on? I was uh, like, oh, I wonder if some men uh, like this. Some men do. I wonder what kind of sensation you would get from that. Pain. There's a saying with the butthole. Exit all day only. Long. That should apply to the butthole. Hey, I didn't know that was an option. So basically, I was like fucking this guy, and we were in this situation shit. Did the deed, went to sleep, and then woke up in the morning, and yeah, there was some blood on the bed. And he was just like, what the f and yeah, he freaked out and I was honestly just standing there like, what the fuck is your problem? Are you serious? Do you know how you came into this world? I went home and I started writing the song. It's not a flight and your sheets, they're pretty dirty anyway. I'm doing you a little favor, go soak him for a couple of days. Hey, daddy, eddy, 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 got my beer, eddy, 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 and your beddy, eddy, 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 sorry, Chad, oh my god. Some of the comments will say, this happened to me like five years ago. Years ago, I wish I knew this song because I felt horrible about it for years. And I'm just like, F 
fuck, like the shame that we feel for something so silly, like mm. really. And a lot of men have left weird shit in my bedroom. You know, I'm going to be real about it. And I've been like, don't worry, don't worry. It is what it is. Move on. <laughs> Plus, like I literally pegged that guy and he had an issue with me bleeding in his bed. I was like, babe, really? Where did you pick this man up? I don't. Oh, probably Triple J. No, no, no. No, no, no. Just the music scene. Oh, God. (laughs) 